Rural Biz Training is a leading provider of online training for farm and small businesses. They have a unique funded training offer available and with an expiry date of December 31 this year, the time to act is now. We see time as being very important to the farmer. We offer a, a lot of online training. We're moving very strongly into that area because it means the farmer can uh, do the study at home. So we've cut out the travel time and uh, we look to uh, make the training available to the farmer when they've got time to do it and online allows us to do that. But we also offer a lot of the more traditional face-to-face -face training, so farmers have probably seen us a lot around running Chemical Card Plus in the face-to-face -face mode. We offer succession planning and financial skills training um, and um, we've moved into general diplomas and advanced diplomas of agriculture and rural business management. Now Cathy, what is the unique training offer currently available through Rural Biz Training? Well we're bringing the diploma and advanced diploma of agriculture or rural business management to the farmers on farm through using online training. Uh, it's quite unique because normally farmers would have to travel long distances or work um, in a distance study mode by mail and uh, now we're bringing it in real time, able to do it on the farm and talk to other farmers and their trainers uh, as though they were operating in a face-to-face -face mode. The really good news for farmers is that they can do it virtually for free. We're able to give exemptions to most farmers from all fees and uh, being fully funded through the Commonwealth and State Governments. But there's a deadline. There is certainly a deadline. The deadline is 31st of December 2010. What we need is to have the um, students up and running. They don't have to complete their course by then, of course. They've got two to three years to complete it. But for us to get that funding against their names, we need to have their names enrolled and just started on the course. One northwest New South Wales farmer to embark on Rural Biz Training's funded positions is Kim Ravel. I've been really enjoying the course. It's really interesting doing the computer interaction with other members of the class. And last semester we were doing, um, it's all about personal development and em employment issues, which was really good to look at um, how you react, how you, what your reaction is to management and why you make the decisions you do and other people around you. And then we um, went on and did employment issues. And um, we're in the process of employing more people because you know, we've got more cropping this year. So I'm trying to get off onto the right footing by doing the right forms and, and getting everything clear. So that's been very handy. It's really increasing my enthusiasm for farming because it's, it's really interesting to learn something new on the computer. And you know, we get on there and we put our headphones on. And, and it's really interactive. You feel like you're really in a classroom. We have the whiteboard and we talk, we talk on screen and we even do things like talk behind the teacher's back because you can type up things as the teacher's talking. But um, no, it's, it's just really, it's really interesting and um, the teachers are fantastic. They, I mean, they're learning, I think, as well how to give the quality of teaching online. But yeah, it's, it's really interesting and, and the talk back sessions once a week are, are really interesting, helpful with your assignments. I mean, it's a very new concept, this idea of um, home learning or learning on the farm and I just think it's working really well so I think anyone should really give it a go it's very flexible and if you do miss a, miss a, um, a lecture you can go back and listen to it online which you know gives you that bit of time to take notes and yeah so I think I'd give anyone you know anyone should give it a go. 86% of recently surveyed past and current students rated rural biz training as good to excellent we asked Cathy Sims why that was the case. Well, I think it's um, because our organisation is small and very responsive. Everyone who works for our organisation um, has direct contact with farmers on a daily basis. Our trainers are usually farmers themselves. They're all highly qualified people who have gone into farming. Um, sometimes they're ex-teachers or um, ex-TAFE, ex, you know, some other training expertise, but they're involved in day-to-day -day farming businesses, so their feet are firmly on the ground and they bring that mixture of, of practical experience and the qualifications. What is recognition of prior learning and how does it work? Um, it's 
basically um, takes the experience that farmers have had, that those skills that they've learned in the um, School of Hard Knocks, and uh, converts them into a paper qualification. So we have the opportunity to go out and talk to farmers, look for evidence that they already know all these things that they do very well on a day-to-day -day basis, and we match them up with the units of competency, and if we can get enough together, then they can actually get a qualification. What sort of time can that cut off the length of a course? Um, we've had people who have been able to get a full qualification probably in a month wow. through because they've been able to get their evidence together and we've been able to work with them.